Hey, ducks, you want to destroy everything? <laughs> All right. So we've got a spare Rambino, which we don't need. Uh, let's get rid of the Slinger, because at this point the Slinger is garbage. Because we just got the GJR666, which is gross. Grossly powerful. Oh. Wait, is this... Wait, you can do that? Huh. We picked up a level 2 boomstick that just straight up had that attached. Heck yeah. Uh, yes. Alright, and we should probably level up the Rambino while we're here. Alright. Let's see, what guns have... Because I'm going to give this boomstick... I'm going to give this boomstick to... Foreman. See, what's the flavor text of the new weapon? Uh, let's see. A long-range rifle prototype. Not much is known about this weapon, apart from it being able to shoot a great distance and will rip through its target like a hot knife through ice. Yeah, go figure. Hot damn. Okay, let's get rid of the red eye. Oh, right, because I, I gave this one the gross, gross Take scope. it easy. All right. Good thing I checked the shop beforehand because, oh boy, Foreman. Oh, hold on. She's the one with the ridiculous boomstick. Well, considering I never use her, sorry. Oh, she needs a primary weapon. Whoopsie, have this one. Foreman, you get the boomstick, the good boomstick. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, your Rambino is as good as it's going to get. Right. We also have extra grenade damage or extra movement range. I like his crit chance when hidden hat. Probably. I think this is fine. I should probably load these guys out with grenades. Because honestly, I've been hoarding them like crazy. Because let's grab an EMP. Let's grab a second EMP grenade. There's a bunch. Alright, so these guys are well equipped now. Okay, so there's still some other things over here, but yeah, not... Not even touching this. Oh, God of War won Game of the Year. Good! I, it absolutely deserves it. That game was fantastic. There's some other games that I love, too. Uh, but God of War... Uh, I begrudgingly am probably going to give it my Game of the Year, too. If only because... I think it's straight up a, the... Technically best game I've ever played. Like, I straight up... I'm not sure if I can come up with any flaws with God of War. Apart from the fact that I called the plot on the first go. Uh, but what can you do about that? Oh, you can go in here. Sweet. Yeah, so I'll want to pick up another one of those crazy, uh... Yep. As time passes, it has become increasingly difficult to govern Plutonia and her followers. My words and warnings go unheeded. And I feel that the clique are reaching into my mind to find knowledge that I have kept hidden from them. And for good reason. Plutonia still persists with the notion that the zone needs to be reset, and that the old Mimer defense network is the key. She might have already found out the codes to activate the weapon which she covered so much. Unable to euthanize the insurgents, my only choice is to gather the compliant subjects and meet at the arranged location. See, speaking of Game of the Year, what are my top five of this year? God of War, Spider-Man, Wandersong. Not in that order. Maybe Under Hero. I'm looking at my playlist real quick. 
mother gunship. So many games I've played, so many. Like, I just finished going through September. Uh, I'm in August. Monster Hunter World. There you go. It's probably in order God of War, Wander Song, Spider Man, Monster Hunter World, and Mother Gunship. I think that's my tentative list. I can't Im immediately think of anything else that I'd want to compete with. Uh, the crosscode is your top five. I have trouble with crosscode if only because it's it came out of early access this year, and so that one's a little bit tougher. But uh, yeah, that one that one's definitely a competitor for like with Spider Man for sure. I. I just don't know what to say about early access games, because did it come out this year or did it come out years ago and it just finally finished? Hard to say. Yeah, I haven't picked up Red Dead Redemption yet, and I'm not sure if I'm going to. I tend to prefer not to play games that, uh, that have bad reps for mistreating their employees. I've dreamed of this star. Wait, I wasn't dreaming. I was remembering. I've been here before. This is trippy. I might need to sit down. Limer Enclave. Okay. I think that's the name of the ancients who built this place. An enclave is kind of like a posse, right? Okay. What about Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth? I actually didn't really like Cyber Sleuth that much. Uh, Cyber Sleuth 2. I'll go back and finish it at some point. Hey, thank you, Snidus Ka Kavix, for the sub. I, I'm i really waiting for Digimon Survive to come out. That is probably going to be my favorite Digimon game if they don't mess it up. I got to play a little bit of it, and it was amazing. And it looks really good to me. But until then, all the other Digimon games are going to feel a little weak. Because it, it was good. That thing looks freaking dangerous. And kind of phallic. Just saying. I like it how we had like a little mini cutscene so you could call a missile a dick. Great. So is this the last mission? Grego's note. Oh, Gego. Gego is sick of polishing the ancient weapon. It's Gego's it's Gego is told to do. Gecko should have left with Lux when he asked for help to bring light to the zone. Lux would have been a kind master. Plutonia has gone mad, and Gecko is losing the will to live. Tomorrow, Gecko will fall into the shaft, and they can polish the metal phallus themselves. Goodbye, Gecko the Polisher. Aw. Oh. No! I mean, yes. I mean, if I can get 90 scrap, we can just start sniping people out of the... Or 90 scrap, 90 gun parts, we can just start sniping people out of the universe. Look at the size of this thing. Overcompensating much? I mean, you got mind powers. Do you really need an intimidating chair? Do you think these buttons make the missile go boom? We need some power to find out. This thing's dead. So we just found... The big bomb. I, I'm not sure if this okay, is going to be the last the mission. silo is totally devoid of life. Should we be in here right now? Uh, that looks like... No, I can't see it. No, it looks like we're supposed to be here. I actually got kind of concerned when he said that. I was like, wait a second. Am I supposed to be in here? No. Alright, so we can buy the super scope, and yeah, we just got another one of the super snipers. So if I wanted to, I could I could just slam a jam people. That Novasek psycho said Hammond was around here. Keep your eyes open. I feel that weapon buzzing. Like it wants to go off. We need to find Hammond. But yeah, even if this is the last mission, 
There might be like a post game, but I bet there's more here because we have the Castle of the Light. Maybe? I don't know. I, I truly can't tell you if I'm at the end of the game or, or not. I will be a little bit disappointed if this really uh, does lead to the end of the game, if only because like it feels like rushed. I thought we'd find Hammond at the halfway point, but oh well. I mean, we straight up didn't even find out about the main well, villain until. Hammond himself, finally. We have to find a way to save him. Up. Oh. Hammond's barely alive when we find him, but we find him. We find him as a team. With Hammond, the Ark's heart can start beating again. We think our mission is complete, but Hammond insists on telling us a secret. A secret that rips a hole through the middle of my life. He tells us he's been to Eden. Yes, the Eden. The mythical place beyond the zone where the secrets to life are kept. He says Eden is a base for the ancients who are very much alive and creating the Mimer machines we've been seeing. He says the ancients do know the secrets to life, but not human life. Mutant life. Me, Pharaoh, Selma, Magnus. Our ears perk up. If ducks had ears, they'd perk up too. Us mutants don't remember jack about our pasts. We're walking amnesiacs. We wonder why some of us look like animals, and others have powers we don't understand. Finding out who we are sounds like the quest of a lifetime, or a very big mistake. There's a problem. Hammond tells us the Nova Sect probed his mind, stole the location of Eden from his thoughts. They're headed there now, determined to unleash the power of the Ancients and cleanse the zone, which means killing everyone inside the Ark. Our home. He says there's one chance to beat the Nova Sect to the gates of Eden. Go through the Forbidden City, he says. It's a shortcut and the Nova Sect are too scared to go through. That doesn't make me feel too good. Hammond begs us not to tell the Elder, because the Elder won't accept the truth. Our mission was a man. Now it's Eden. We have one final journey to save the Ark. But if us stalkers discover who we really are, will we want to come back? Alright, so this is not the end of the game. That's good. That would have been weird. So our new objective is... We're real close. Should probably finish it up in a day or two, though. Hmm. Maybe. I gotta figure this out. Because, yeah, I could just push through tonight. We also got Smash Bros. And now Hades. And... Uh, ah. 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 I hate... I hate game release schedules because they always, always like to just come at the most ridiculous time. There is... Oh, no, that's the chainsaw area. I wonder if you can keep going further that way. Oh, buh, 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 buh. I wonder needs a hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah, or just not to... I, if I didn't need to sleep, this would be mad easy. But I need to sleep. Well, let's go take a... Let's go check out the grog den at the very least. And then we'll figure out the, the rest. Because, yeah, I don't want to touch Smash Bros. without oh, Shell. I know that smell. That's Grog. Oh, I'd kill for a mug of Grog right now. Grog down up ahead. I hear the ancients had massive parties here. They got wasted on magic Grog and headbutted each other. <laughs> oh, being ancient would be super cool. Give me more of that Grog. I want a party till my head goes boom! 
Enough of that, Grog. We need to baptize the zone with old man fire. We need to make more fire bombs now! We've got a mountain of fire bombs over there. You want to make more? I want to burn it all. Not some. All. Oh, burn it all! Let's see. Got a couple of dudes here. They don't want to touch uh, Smash Bros until Shell's done taking a shower. Because I want to play with her. Because I think it's got co-op. Can you guys uh, confirm on that one? Do they Is the campaign mode for Smash Bros ultimate co-op or is it a uh, solo thing again? Because that's, that's mild important. Look at all this paper. You ever seen this much paper before? You think Prips would be into this? Okay. I don't want to like talk about other stuff while I'm playing this game. At the same time, oh no. Oh no. Rapid fire enclave laser weapon with tremendous destructive capability. Rumors say that it was discovered deep underground. Oh no. It's good. Fishmas Bill. All right. We keep finding good guns, too. Now there's two dudes up here. And there's probably a several more. Chief Pyra. Right, let's activate him. I control this hunter. This might work real badly. I should probably save? It's probably too late now. The real question is, does that other guy come, come a running for me? Yep. All right. This just got infinitely hairier. Put that ugly man out of my misery. No sweat on it. Bang, bang, bang. Enjoy your purchase and have a great day. Okay, so we have Pyro, Pyro, and Hunter. God, it would be lovely if I could run over all of these guys. That's a lot of Pyros. Well, Chief Pyra. If this is going to be happening, Donut. you're victim number one. Alright, Magnus. What do we got? Magnus does not have the best guns for this situation. Let's get out here. Agnes was caught sneaking, surprising nobody. Okay. Hunter. Put him right here, hopefully within range. We'll just shoot one of these pyros. We did grab a bunch of extra grenades, so this should help a little bit. What? That was weird. Activate. Grab the uh, breaker cannon. Oh. Can I, can I? What does this do? Oh. Okay, so how does he land? Okay, so he's just gonna be up there. That might actually have been a mistake. Get the fat one! As good as dead! We'll find out. Need you good.
Okay. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just start shooting them. Okay. Seeing as we're going to be perpetually on fire. Anyway. Oh, Good night, rotheads! That actually turns this into an interesting mission variant. Instead of... You stay away from me! Instead of being a, a standard fight, this is a... This is a timed battle. Because effectively, we're going to be taking one one damage hey, per turn. There is the a med light. bot. Of course, it's a med bot. Way. Smash the feminine one! No sweat! On it. Okay, so it he's hurts. burning. What grenades do we have? Molotov? No. Molotov is about as useless as we can get in this situation. Move him in a bit. Shoot this guy. Oh, they're ch chunky. Get the lot of them? Get the lot of them. Okay, then four men. Good running gun. Can't really make it as far as I thought it would, he'd be able to. Might as well run and gun. Let's see, do we shoot the pyro? Oh. That's not the pipe. That's fine. Take rat face, get down! Hospital injury detected. Care provider on approach vector. Yeah, so we're just gonna be perpetually on fire here. It's fine though? Like almost everybody we're fighting is actually really weak. Yeah, baby! Let's see. So he's about to burn to death. And... I guess let's just hop down. Not that it changes too much, but I can shoot this guy in the butt. <laughs> you leaving us with Injury not a whole lot. Progress. Okay. Uh, but, but, but. Yeah, we got pyros and a med bot. Question, can I shoot the med bot from any of these angles? No, but I could mind control pyro. Who can proceed to set the med bot on fire and stop throwing as many, whoa. Wait, pyros can set themselves on fire? I would have assumed they were fireproof. But what about the robot? That's this is weird. This game gets really glitchy. I don't mind it, but it gets really glitchy. Okay, so we gotta get that. We gotta get that robot off. Actually, we gotta reload. Can he hit anything? Yes. Damn it. All right, let's do a running gun. We gotta get that robot off the chieftain. So let's fix it. 
Hey, it's been EMP'd. Perfect. Excuse me, medbot. No. <sighs> this is this is a no. This is no med med med. Yeah. No medbot zone. Everyone is on fire. It's like everyone's kung fu fighting, but dumber. So much dumber. All right. So what do we do? Reload. Pop a fool. There he goes. Has a good gun. You did it, kid. All right. We still have all of our AP. And honestly, since these are pyros, I'm just gonna plunk Borman right. What? What did he hop over? I don't know. I'm just gonna plunk Borman right here, and we'll just shoot shoot down into these guys. Man, this makes me want to play a new Divinity Original Sin game. The environmental effects in those games are just so good. And, like, I haven't seen anything, like, even remotely again. close in any game, really, in ages. Okay. Actually, we might want to get ducks that... Mm, no, I don't know. I was going to say we might want to get ducks that headband. That hurts. Really doesn't, Borman. Really? You can't just hop off? Really? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid game telling me I can't do the things that I can do? I believe in me. More fire for Borman! Mmm, smell that bacon. Alright. And we level up again. Yeah, I might just have to kind of do battle. Like, I like my sneak attack hey, nonsense. But it might... Those are some thick bones. Uh, it might straight up just be easier, better for me. Uh, to just take everybody on at once. It's a little bit faster. A little bit more risky, but my dudes are tough. And I most definitely can make them tougher. Eh, red eye. I should see if I can sell or discard or get rid of some of my older scopes, because they're not useful anymore. What's that guy outlined in red? I don't know. I actually don't know. Divinity Original Sin 2. I remember breaking that game. Give everyone the summon ability. I had a mode. Summons last more than two turns. It was great. Yeah, I I really hope they make another Divinity Original Sin game so that I can have an excuse to play. I might actually just go back to the original Divinity Original Sin and play it with Shell. Because I, I had done it with Keith originally, but I just didn't enjoy it that much. Chip's going to be so jealous. Look at these grog makers. They're huge. Grog milker. Hell yeah. Suggestively designed system for rationing of grog. But with a little bit of cool liquid is delivered to the thirsty recipient. Chronicler Hippocantus. Blood. It smells a bit like grog. What would this be used for? I guess I like, uh, I like breaking games. As hard as I can. This makes me a little grumpy when people tell me no. Stop setting everything on fire, Wander. Stop ambushing people, Wander. Ah. Ruins the ruins the game, Wander. No, it doesn't. Makes the game better. And handle my might. And handle my cheese. Seriously. Any game where I can cheese as hard as I can, that's a good game. Uh, is this... Oh, this is the way I came from. So, are we done? Is that it? Yeah, because it was that... It was that crazy, uh... 
We got a new gun from this area. That is a good, good gun. Wow. I haven't grabbed everything, though. Look at all these Molotov cocktails. Want to light one? Just to see what happens? Okay, good. Multiple Molotovs. I was wondering and worried about that. This guy died fishing. Good for him. All right, I think I think that's it for this area. That was a quick quick zone. Just nice battle, fight everybody, call it a day. Uh, let's go to the ark. Your mission is complete, stalkers. You returned Hammond safe and sound. Our machines will hum with new life. The Ark is forever in your debt. Thank you. My little birdies have told me. Hammond thinks the fabled Eden lies beyond the Forbidden City. And you are thinking of going through the city to get to Eden. Have I taught you nothing? There is no Eden. And even if there were, entering the Forbidden City is impossible. That is the city where the Red Plague started. The ancients in charge thought they could quarantine the people by building a giant wall that covered the entire city. It stands to this day. Penetrable. You should stay at the Ark and heal your wounds. No more adventures. It's quickly zipping through. Survive and persevere, my brave stalkers. Trying to go through my playlist to see if there's anything else that came out this year that I really, really liked. Kind of come up with blanks, though. I, I really think... Oh, oh, it's a currently equipped weapon, of course. Uh... Do I get rid of the Gaper? Because I could upgrade the Elysium. Because the Elysium is... It's not as... Far range, but it's got four shots a good gun. This would be a great gun. I mean, it already is a great gun. We'll upgrade it once. Oh, I know. Take it easy. I really wish you could access the inventory from her screen. Let's give it to Magnus. Get rid of the Rambino, because it, it's already better than the Rambino. Because the only thing the Rambino's got on it is crit damage. But I'd rather have consistent damage than crit damage. Even then I can probably... Let's see if we can grind up the Rambino or check Iridia's shop. Welcome. Maybe she has something new. Excuse me if I don't get up. When the zone rot hits your spine, standing is a luxury. Okay, so let's let's grab the Mimir Safe scope. Travels. There might be another one, but still. And thank you, Wildemar kid. Go ahead and cheese the crap out of games. Always fun seeing you do it. Don't just stand there. You need a fix? It is always fun doing it. I don't know. I I live to, to scum, to cheese, to do everything. Oh, we still have a stinger. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Get rid of these. Let's go back. Dismantle the Rambino for 23. It's not worth the investment I put into it, but take it nonetheless. I don't know if I want to get another GJR. I'd probably wait. Take it easy. I, I'd probably not get another one. It'd be neat to do so, but I, I don't think I don't think it's a good idea. Because you pretty much can't move if you're using one. And that makes it a bit tougher. 